Meanwhile, the nation's debt is fast approaching now $15 trillion, just as the Senate approves another mini spending bill. Democrats claim it will cut spending by about a billion dollars. A billion dollars. Republicans charge, though, the gimmicks in the bill actually boost spending by more than $9 billion. And as Frank Luntz found out, voters want none of this. How many of you are frustrated about the budget gimmicks and accounting tricks that happens in Washington? All right, you saw those raised hands. We've got Frank Luntz here, the guy asking the questions. Uh, you, you would think that politicians know how voters feel about this, but they continue doing this. What do you make of it? Well, it's the segment that comes right after that that was so interesting. We tested Senator Jeff Sessions' new legislation, Honesty and Budgeting. Now, you would think that you wouldn't actually need something like that. Uh, Neil, of all the things I've done this past year, the concept of restoring honesty in what Washington does, ending the accounting tricks, the budget gimmicks, and all the empty promises, it was the number one tested item that I've done in terms of legislation with any segment of the population. Senator Sessions is on to something. Not only have we lost faith in Wall Street, we've lost faith in Washington because they just don't tell us the truth. They find ways to sneak spending in there. This is a great issue for the Republicans, and it could be a good issue for Democrats if they're smart enough to jump on board and the accounting tricks and the budget gimmicks and stop making promises that you know in these budgets that you cannot keep. Yeah, Senator and I don't Sessions know how many different ways for what he's doing. I'm sorry, buddy. I don't know how many different ways you could have raised it with this with this group. They made it abundantly clear just how ticked off they were. This is from your group with them. Is the concept of an honest budget, is that an oxymoron or can we do something? Are you telling me Harry Reid is going to allow a Republican bill to even come up to the floor for a vote? But should the Republicans fight for this? Yes. yes. Should they demand that it happen? Yes. Do you think that we can get, if they fight for it, accountability, responsibility, and honesty no. in budgeting? No. No. Not with Obama. So is it worth the effort? Yes. 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 I think the people have spoken. Pretty loudly. Now, one might argue hearing a crowd like that, well, you know, these folks are more the exception than the rule. How do you counter that? No, you counter that by saying that if you have no faith in your government to tell you the truth, then you're losing faith in democracy itself. That's number one. Number two is that the public has the right to know the truth and that Washington has the responsibility to tell them the truth. And it shouldn't be a partisan issue. The fact is, Senator Sessions, who's the ranking member on the Budget Committee, it, this should not just be his legislation. The Democrats should jump on board. But as you heard the comments there, voters have no faith in Harry Reid to actually follow through on this. So here's a message from the American people to those elected representatives who are paying attention in Washington. Accountability matters. And they're going to vote for people who look them straight in the eye and tell them the truth. What about the ones who say part of the truth is reigning in entitlements, Medicare, Social Security? or on the conservative side going after the military when you, in other words, put specifics to general goals, that's when people leave you as well, and that accountability can cut both ways. Well, you're right, Neil, because specifics, then you start to find out who gets hurt. Here's what the American people are saying, that if, if we're all in this together, and that if there is something that, that hurts all of us, we're willing to do it for the greater good. There's still a commitment for the next generation. Uh, rather than the next election. There's still a commitment to try to bring down this debt and eliminate this deficit so we don't damage our kids well, was the there next an, generation. Was there a willingness then to that include tax hikes? So that, that even though it might be an anathema to many, maybe some in that room, uh, they're open well, to there, that. There's a simple answer to that, which is why would you hike taxes on a government that's just going to waste that additional money? Why would you take more from people who are job creators and entrepreneurs and small business people which will make it harder for them to lower this unemployment rate when you know that Washington won't even tell you the truth about how much this is spending. If I seem agitated, Neil, it's because I am. Senator Sessions has found legislative perfection, and it shouldn't be just a Republican issue. It should be something that all of Washington embraces. Now, of all the Republican presidential candidates we have out there, uh, does anyone embrace that anger better than, than another? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, Rick Perry did so in Texas, but he hasn't been communicating it on the campaign trail. Hmm. Mitt Romney has got some significant specifics, but then you've got issues over, over just how strongly he feels. Newt Gingrich knows this better than, you know what, I'm going to give you an answer. 
maybe Newt Gingrich, because he's actually mm. said about the super committee that they better do their job and they better be specific and they better get it done, because in reality, you should not be passing it over to a super committee. Congress should have done its job, and most importantly, the president has got to lead. Take responsibility and lead, and that's not happening. All right, buddy. Good stuff as always. Frank Luntz in L.A. In